makes very clear that the head of the state is the financial system. We can argue till the end of time about who runs the world. Is it the Jesuits? Is it the reptilians? Is it the Illuminati? Is it the Freemasons? We can go on and on and on and on about this, but I don't think it is reasonable to even begin arguing about the mechanism that is used to exert this control. The mechanism is finance. The whole point of finance is to indebt, otherwise to enslave. What is a mortgage? I mean, what does that stand for? It's called, it's a death grip. So when you get a mortgage, you have a death grip held over you because you are in debt. You don't even own the house. The bank owns the house that loans you the money to buy the house unless you're fortunate enough to have all the money to buy it outright. And even then, you can be taxed by the government. And if you fail to keep up with those taxes, the government can then take it from you. The whole system is based on a financial fraud which effectively takes the power that we have and it gives it to a tiny group of individuals who are running the world through the control of finance. With the infinite supply of money that we have allowed them to take, they have literally an infinite supply of money, and with that money, and from their psychopathic point of view, they have bought everything and everyone who can be bought. So those of us who cannot be bought, because we operate on a level that goes way beyond the material, we are not rewarded for such behavior, we are punished for such behavior. And the most slovenly, disgustingly criminal, pedophilia, uh, you know, corrupt moral individuals, those are the ones that are rewarded in this system, which is upside down. We reward the pedophiles, we reward the corrupt, we reward the liars, we reward the people with no morals at all, and usually we compromise them under this system in terms of maybe a videotape. Maybe Barack Obama is gay. Maybe we have videotape of him having sex with another man, or perhaps uh, some other uh, acts that may be not so popular amongst many of the, of the electorate. Or maybe we have videos of uh, political leaders having sex with little boys or little girls. If I was in charge of the world and I was a psychopath and completely drunk on my own power, you can bet damn sure that's what I would do. I wouldn't allow anyone in a position of power who wasn't completely compromised. When you have an infinite supply of money, you can do this. Take that supply of money away, take that power back, put it in the hands of the people, get rid of fractional reserve banking, which is an obscenity in itself. Listen to the lessons of Jesus Christ if you're a Christian who got really pissed off when he went to the temple and he saw what the money changers were doing. Let's take back control of the issuance of money, and not just on a national level. I'm happy to see in Denmark that you have your own currency, you don't have the euro, but on every country's level, they should be issuing their own currency in a transparent, non-usury based way in which it really, truly benefits the people. And in that way, we can literally free ourselves of the banking debt which is drowning us all, and we can stop scrambling for the crumbs from the table of these filthy rich psychopaths and live in a state of abundance just by changing this one thing and I'm not just talking about abundance for Western nations who have an artificially inflated value with their currencies we all in the West are guilty of having that reward while the rest of the world is sucking on it every nation in the world can use a sensible financial policy to liberate themselves to have world-class education infrastructure everything that a healthy society would require can be had in the worst most corrupt african country in any part of the world we can all have that if we simply change that one thing john f kennedy did that about six months before he was taken out he issued united states notes as opposed to federal reserve notes i can assure you the powers that be knew the power of that act and they took him right out. So the bottom line is if we as people understand this very simple principle, just this one thing, change this one thing, we can solve every other problem you can name. I don't care what the problem is, I can bring it back to the financial system and an infinite supply of money for a bunch of psychopaths who are running the world as opposed to an abundant supply of money for all of us. So in that sense, I'm very optimistic. This is not rocket science. I am not the smartest guy in the room. We can all understand this. And as soon as we do, we can exercise the same power that we had, but relinquish and we can have a future for ourselves and our children. Well said, well said, well said. Now for the British Crown Agency, known as the government of Jamaica, you unlearned Crown Agents need to listen carefully. Are you issuing your own currency? It's just an illusion 
Why? Because the Bank of Jamaica is a central bank that is attached to that very World Bank, which is a very same financial system that imposes itself across this earth, specifically this Western Hemisphere. It is a foreign financial system, fractional reserve banking. This is what I've been talking about here on this island. However, when outside folks, foreign people, who are not from our bloodline, share this information, then and only then will our people may pay attention. However, the truth shall reveal itself naturally and bring glory to its beholder. Complete gratitude out there.